Welcome back, friends. It's snowing and cold outside, so Logger decided that we would stay inside today for story time. Before we get started, Logger wanted to give a shout out to all his teacher friends, principal friends, and nurse friends at AC Valley, as well as all around the country. Logger knows just how important all of you are to everyone, and especially to him, huh, buddy? So he wanted to give a big thank you to you all. This, stop. The story that he's picked out this week is called The Night Before Mother's Day, which is why he's got his fancy hat on. He's dressed up for Mother's Day. It's written by Natasha Wing and illustrated by Amy Wormer. Here we go. You ready? Was the night before Mother's Day, as quiet as a mouse, Dad told us his plan to get Mom out of the house. He's, her sneakers were set by the doorway with care in hopes that her running pals soon would be there. Then out in the yard there arose such a crowd. Come on, let's go, girl, her friends exclaimed really loud. So mom in her sweatsuit and red baseball cap plugged in her earphones and jogged off in a snap. Away to the kitchen we flew like a flash as if we were running a hundred yard dash. We measured and mixed a delicious cake batter, then blended the frosting. Oops! Way too much splatter. Look, Log, they made a mess. See it? Oh, my. We made fancy cards adding our I love yous and a special coupon that Mom could sure use. When Mom came home, she saw the mess in the sink. What'd I miss? She asked. Nothing, Dad said with a wink. We children then nestled all snug in our beds while visions of Mom danced in our heads. The next morning, we presented a giant bouquet. It's for you, Mom, we shouted. Happy Mother's Day! Happy Mother's Day. She read both our cards and then wiped her eyes and said, A private spa session. What a lovely surprise. She, we took Mom to the kitchen where our spa was set up. Dad served her black coffee in an extra large cup. We rubbed her shoulders. We massaged her feet. Mom sighed and smiled. You kids are so sweet. I wrapped a towel her, uh, turban to cover her hair. Then we dabbed on a mud mask. No mess anywhere. I patted, painted her nails with glittery fun. A top coat of polish, voila, manicure done. Dad nodded. The chef will be serving a divine gourmet brunch. That's the meal between breakfast and lunch. Did you know that? Breakfast and lunch. As Mom hurried off to go and get dressed, we took seats to table, behaving our best. When what to our wondering eyes should appear? But the perfect example for model of the year. Her eyes, how they sparkled. Her brown hair, how curly. Her cheeks were like roses. Her skirt, super swirly. Oh, it was swirly. Mm. 
we raised up our glasses to toast and offered a toast to the world's greatest mom, and that's not a boast. Mom thanked us for everything. It brought her such cheer. She wished it could be Mother's Day every day of the year. The end. Well, Logger and I hope you enjoyed today's story. And remember that a hug is a very good gift to give your mom every day. To all the moms who have two-legged children or four-legged fur babies, or whether you're an aunt or a sister or a friend, Logger wants to wish you a happy Mother's Day and enjoy your weekend and hope you stay healthy and safe. Logger and I want to sing you a song that my mom sang to my sister and I and hope you like it. Are you ready? M is for the million things you gave me. O means only that you're growing old. T is for the tears you shed to save me. H is for your heart of purest gold. E is for the eyes with love light shining. R is right and right you'll always be. Put them all together, they spell mother, the word that means the world to me. And to you too, huh? And don't forget, Logger always says, don't forget to wash your paws. Bye.